From Super Metroid to Metal Gear, Shadow of the Colossus to The Last of Us, gaming has spun all sorts of yarns across its relatively young lifetime. Though for as lovable as these characters and motivations are, are these stories fundamentally told in a way that benefits gaming as a medium? Rare is the game that actually uses the very fact we're controlling the action on screen to tell a meaningful story. You can argue that yes, being the person that kills the boss in Snake Eater or downs the Colossi in Shadow of the Colossus drew you into the moment, but fundamentally, was through a video game the only way that this scene could have unfilled? Or could its impact also have been done on film or on the page? Now before we go any further, I'm Scott from What Culture, and spoilers will follow for both Celeste and Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding. Ding. Done. What I'm getting at is think of something like Brothers. Across that game, you became accustomed to controlling two protagonists at once, with one analog stick and one trigger each. It's a bit of a learning process, but when one of the brothers eventually dies, you literally feel the loss in gameplay, because now you're only playing with half the part. Cut to the end of the game, and when the little brother must remember the lessons he's been taught by his older sibling, you actually reuse the now dormant part of the controller, rounding him off as a character and fundamentally moving him through the world in a more accomplished way. It's genius, and indicative of a style of storytelling that's so rare in the medium. This brings me on to Celeste, as I've not been so absolutely emotionally devastated by a game in quite some time. Not in a bad way either, more just a, yup, I'm never going to be able to experience that again kind of way. Now obviously I'd recommend playing Celeste for yourself, but if you're sticking around, let's go full spoilers. Because what two-man dev team Matt Thorson and Noel Berry have accomplished makes for an utterly exquisite experience. Celeste is an exploration of doubt, anxiety, and failure. Emotions and sensations that we all feel and some are completely dominated by. Centered on the physical act of character Madeline climbing the titular mountain, she comes across a few characters along the way that mostly serve to be commenters on her struggle. There's the chirpy, self-confident Theo, the constantly worrying Mr. Ashiro, and the mocking, oh, just give up, why even bother style Kanda from someone literally called Granny. Together, they texture this gorgeous pixel adventure that doubles as a supremely tough platformer. Celeste is one hard game, but one that you can tell has been playtested and refined until its difficulty curve is just right. Jumps, wall kicks, and boosts are all you have, but they get put to use across a series of levels that vary things up with puzzles and environmental hazards. Now, there's more to Celeste than just the mountain's difficulty being a manifestation of any one individual's life challenges, but getting comfortable with being knocked back and only incrementally progressing by using Madeline's own strengths already taps into why this game has such a positive takeaway message. Back to the story itself, and before long you meet a dark, mirrored version of Madeline. No named and only being referred towards Madeline as part of you, it's clear Madeline has dealt with and been overpowered by this being's effect on her psyche before. Quickly, we understand that this darker avatar is the on-screen manifestation of Madeline's worries, her doubts and fears. She's the voice we all have in our head whenever we want to push for something greater in life. She's the almost societally reinforced notion that you should stick to your post, stick with what's reliable, don't go out of your comfort zone because what if something goes wrong? The game mostly sets up this darker self as a villain, and gaming in general would dictate that some sort of final boss scenario with Madeline vanquishing her doubts and emerging victorious would follow. But she doesn't. Or rather, in some of the most affecting and emotionally powerful scenes I've seen, she starts to have a conversation with her worst self. She learns to rationalize those often overriding negativities with reason, with determination, with a will to carry on and prove herself no matter what. In-game, this initially comes from many raw interactions and chase sequences, as Madeline's shadow self doesn't want to open up. She doesn't want to be understood, because after all, she represents that runaway negativity we can all be so often paralyzed by. To understand this notion is to vanquish and hone it, and therein lies Celeste's greatest achievement. Eventually, the pair reach something of an agreement on how it's okay to feel scared and shoot for the stars, and you start working together to make bigger jumps, to reach that little bit higher, to save you from falling at the last minute, to climb the mountain as one. The following rush of fast-paced levels, the reality of working with this antagonist that you've feared and ran away from so many times, the fact that developers Thorson and Berry save some of the most intense visual flourishes and controller rumbles for the final few steps, it really comes together in a way that was so emotionally overwhelming, I just had to sit with this sensation of pure happiness, reward, and accomplishment for quite some time. Celeste provides a window into how those who deal with depression, anxiety, general worry, or any remote sense of dread in everyday life can learn to visualize their more out-of-control elements, bringing them back under control and finding the positives inside mentalities otherwise rooted in worry and a paralyzing feeling of over-consideration. Everybody feels trepidation, anxiety, stress, but they're human thoughts, impulses, and emotions that can be channeled for good. The key, as Celeste says, and I agree, is moderation. 
As modern technology and newer generations continue to dissect and truly understand every last part of our insanely complex chemical makeup, when it comes to mental health, it is so refreshing to see a video game do something that means all who play will come away with a greater understanding of what it means for each of us to tackle our own individual mountains. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video, aren't you a star? Don't forget to subscribe below, and also, the people who made this video, they're right here, so go and follow them and give them some love. If you want to see more content, there's probably some stuff flowing up above my head, why not check it out? It could be fun. I'm not your dad.